It's been a good morning already, I think. Real quickly, there's a prayer list. It says on your Valerie Acres, Charles Hall, Brother Charles, Hubert, Brother Hubert Potter, Evan Steve, Evan Stevens, Brother Ellis Brandon's having surgery this morning. He's real bad. We want the Lord to heal him. We want him to heal all. Brother Ricky Bentley at Blanche here. He's got COVID or he thinks he does. And my sister Valerie has to have surgery tomorrow. She's 57 years old and she may not ever walk again. She may. They're going to try to take her hip back out and she'll have to lay three months and they'll try to do it again. That's just the world that we live in today. It's full of heartaches and troubles and sorrows. Sister Stephanie, little girl, has to go to Duke University. She's losing her eyesight. The young girl would sit back there. I was, I was in a revival meeting a few weeks ago, invited over to speak in Knott County. One of the greatest things I ever seen or witnessed, a little girl stood up about 16 year old. And that the pastor there said, if anybody has anything to say or testify, and she said, Sister Smallwood, she said, when I was 13 years old, first she said, would you pray for my grandmother? She said, when I was 13 years old, the Lord visited me. And she said, I'm so glad that I listened to His voice. She said that and it set me on fire. Yeah. We've heard Brother Jason say he was 13 years old and the Lord come knocking at his heart. I remember being 13, 14 years old. Turning him away. Not now, Lord. Not now, a little bit longer. I was so foolish. I said, wait until I get my license and then I can go to church. I was trying to bargain with the Lord, even at a young age. We all do that. You're welcome here at the Antioch Church. One and all. We want you to come. We want you to come with one mind. And that mind being on Jesus Christ. That Him be in the way from this earth to the glory land. We don't want you to look to the left or look to the right. But we want you to look to the cross. And that's where all of our help comes from. And that's where we'll get all of our help in this life. Through all of our problems, through all of our troubles. But in saying that, we'll have to look to Him and we'll have to trust in Him. And you'll have to do the same. The Bible says today is the day of salvation. If you'll hear His voice and harden not your heart. I hope today that you hear His voice. He said, I stand at the door and knock. And if any man will open, I'll come in. It tells me if any man will open, or woman, he'll come in. I hope this morning you come praying. There's uh, many things that's been on my mind this morning. There's troubles all around us. I wish sometimes that like the writer, no doubt, when he wrote, if I could just take wings of an eagle and fly to the uttermost parts of the earth, that I'd find the Lord there. I said. See, the Lord is our refuge, and in Him we'll have our hiding place. If we have any hiding place, it'll be in the Lord. Is there anyone else here today that's in seek of prayer, feel at liberty to call out? Put uh, Brother Theodore Sloan on there. He found out he's got cancer, man. Brother Theodore does? Mm -hmm. <coughs> and my aunt, Dana Lovett, she's been having trouble with her vision lately, and it's really getting her up. Yeah. And then Brother Ellis Brandon, he's been having trouble with his vision. He's been having trouble with his vision. Yeah. And he's been having trouble with his vision. She's home, man. Yeah, she's home, man. She's still having a time. Where's Ice? Lynn and Barbara Frazier. I heard some good news. 
that Brother Gordon's wife is home. Is that what it was? You took her home, so that is good. We want to remember Brother our Kermit here. He needs to go to the doctor. He don't know it. He needs to go. <laughs> we love him. We want him to get better. We want to uh, remember all of our children. Yes. All of our children. Anyone else? There are Jerry, Marine men, and all that, and uh, my family. Bring the leader's hand. Put the bubble pal on there. Michelle Newsom and Catherine Cobb. I know there's not a book that would hold the names of people that really need some prayer. My sister-in-law, uh, Missy Hartson, texted me and said she can't call me, she can follow me. No problem. Sister Wani Doos, we volunteer and she can't follow me. we got a lot of members that's sick. We've got a lot of people One that's sick. Go on, get down the street. Mm -hmm. All right. So we need to, um, we want Brother Thomas to come and open the service. We want to let my brother. We want somebody to hold prayer and we'll go from there. I think that would be good. We love our brother. He visited us and we love him and we'll hope and pray that you'll pray. The Bible said, Seek and you shall find. Knock and it shall be opened unto you. A door of utterance. So you'll have to go over my head if you want if you want salvation. You'll have to go over these brothers' head if you want salvation. You'll have to have a talk with Jesus. I don't think there's a man that will stand here today that will tell you wrong. That Jesus Christ is the way yeah, from this earth to the glory land. Yeah, I think I found I've surrounded myself with men that believes in that very Savior. And it will, if you ever go to heaven, it'll be through and by Jesus Christ. Amen. Come on, brother. <laughs>